Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. This is the first video in our Lead Code series and let's solve the first problem. Once you are logged into Lead Code, navigate to this Problems tab and you will see this list of domains that you can solve problems in and here I can kind of uh, do this all topics thing and sort this based on the difficulty. So let's start with the easy problems and then you will see this uh, question where this kind of research every day like one question a day so that you can like learn a problem randomly so i'm going to start with the second one the two sum one which is like the easy difficulty so let's go through the problem statement and try to solve it in python if you are trying to solve it in a different uh, kind of programming language so that should be okay as well so the logic would probably remain the same so let's uh, understand this uh, the name is two sum and here given an array of integers called as nums and an integer target return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target so it's basically what they are saying is uh, we have this particular list right so this will be named as num and they will also give a target value which is in this case is 9 right so now we have to find the two values that kind of add up to this target so here if you kind of go through these values right so we can add 2 and 7 that would give us a target now we shouldn't return this 2 and 7 but return the indices of 2 and 7 if it is a list right so the indices would be 0 and 1 so the output should be 0 comma 1 so here you can see the explanation so the main thing to note here is right and when we are kind of solving this in a technical round of an interview we may kind of overlook this and try to return the values instead of the indices so it's kind of important to go through the question completely and try to uh, think about like how you can solve this so let's again go through this given an array of integers nums and an integer target return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target and they have given some like examples and so on and there are like some assumptions you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice so here what they are saying is like now we have two and seven right there always will be one answer for this question so it, it won't be like we have two and seven and there are two elements like three and six that would add up to nine so that won't be the case we would be having only one uh, answer for a particular question so that's what we have uh, that's what like they have given and we don't have to handle that particular case and there won't be also a case where uh, the numbers won't add up to uh, that particular target so they have kind of also mentioned as we would have one solution so we don't have to kind of worry about that as well so you can return the answer in any order so you can either give zero or one or one or zero so that's okay so now uh, this is your uh, question part and this is where basically your code editor where you can like put your code and uh, there will be option for this layout a dynamic and a code editor layout where in the code editor you will just see the code editor I have given this dynamic where we would see this both question as well as the as well as the code editor you can also go through the int but just try to think about this and see how you can solve this and you have to put your solution in a function and you also have this class right so you don't have to kind of do anything specific just write your code in this function and when you run it we have this test cases so if you click this test cases right uh, this would kind of display this like uh, you know let's say the case one is 2 7 11 and 15 so the answer is 9 so your code will be kind of checked with these test cases to make sure that you are giving like the correct output and uh, that's the thing now let's see how we can solve this so the main thing is once you are given a list you need to identify the elements that add up to the target and just return the indices right so let's see and in order to kind of debug this easily and kind of brainstorm few things i have this notebook file where we can kind of uh, write these you know in a in a simple way so we have this two sum self numbers list target and so on so we have this data type thing as well so yeah so it's basically like we have the self which is the argument for this object that we have so it's not like that important for us and then we have this numbers variable which is a list and target so i'll just like create something similar uh, define to some or maybe first i can just create this this thing itself so we have this numbers and target right and the main output that we are interested in is the indices so let's get the values as well as the integers so in order to do that so first i'll run this and i'll say for i comma uh, num where let's say i is the index and number should be the number present in that particular list for i comma number in uh, nums instead of just saying this i'm going to say enumerate 
right and then i can print this i and num so basically what this enumerate does is it will return the index as well as the element if it is an iterable object right so a list or something like that it will first take this i will basically take the index and a uh, number will take that particular number and then we are printing i and number so for the first iteration it will take the first element which is kind of uh, printed here and it also written the index so this is how we are going to map this numbers and uh, in kind of indices and then like later try to see which one kinds of add up to this target so for this i'm going to create a dictionary so i mean if you are using like some other programming language you probably would have heard about this ash map again dictionary is also based on the same idea of ash map where you have this key and a value pair kind of like associated with it so here i'm going to say uh, number of indices basically numbers and indices is equal to a dictionary and here i'm going to create a variable called as difference so we know that when we say for i comma number in enumerate nums i'm going to find the difference of the target and the number itself right so let's say when when this particular code runs for the first time right so this will find the difference between 9 and 2 when it runs for the second time it will find the difference between like 9 and 7 right so let's print this difference and let's maybe put a marker to kind of identify these different print statements so i'll run this right so we have this difference so first time it runs number takes in the value 2 and we are subtracting the target from here and it's printing that as 7 so we are first taking the difference and the reason we do is next we can see uh, let's say we are getting this 7 as the output in the first case right where the difference is 7 now I can just see if this 7 is present there present there in this list if it's present I'm going to take like these two values so how this would happen is like let's say you now we have like some other examples so in the second case you have 3 2 and 4 and the target is 7 right so what would happen is in this case when you find the difference which is 3 uh, minus 6 the difference would be 3 but we can't add the same element twice as they have like mentioned it here so you may not use the same element twice so the correct answer should be 216 sorry 214 that would add up to 6 so we would kind of ignore this 3 the second time so what uh, would happen is in the second iteration number will take the value 2 and we find the difference which would be uh, 6 minus 2 and you would have this 4 now we will look if this 4 is present in this list now it's present now we take the index of these two things so that's how this would work now let's write uh, the coding for this so we have this difference which is equal to target and number and the correct term that you can also use for this is complement the complement of target so here i will say if difference in num indices so num indices is nothing but the dictionary that we have created so we kind of instead of checking in the list we are checking in this dictionary because we need the index so if difference in num indices i'm going to say return num indices okay, i'm going to return a list as we need a list as output num indices of num or okay it should be the difference and then I have to return this i later this num indices of num is equal to i let's understand like how this particular uh, code works okay so let me put this in a function so define sum to so we would pass this numbers and target right hmm. now let's understand how this would work okay so let me run this now let's take this particular case and pass these two so i'll call this output as op and sum to numbers and 
target so this should return the values as 0 and 1 because they are the index right so i'll return this output so we are seeing this 0 and 1 now let's try to understand how this would work in a code so now we are kind of initiating a empty dictionary as this curly brackets and for i comma number in enumerate nums we know that this would give the index as i and the actual number itself in this num and then we are finding this difference which is equal to target minus number so when this code runs for the first time i takes the value of so first let's say the number of number indices would be an empty dictionary right so this is how it would be in the first iteration and i would take the value of 0 and uh, your num would take the value of 2 and when you find this difference right so the difference will be target minus your number so in this case it's 9 minus 2 so the difference would be 7 in the first iteration and then if difference in num indices so when it checks difference in num indices it basically checks if this 7 is present in the key of this particular dictionary so in this case the dictionary is empty so it won't be present there so we won't return this so this if block won't be executed and we go to this next line which says number of indices of num is equal to i so in this case we add a key value pair to this num indices which would be uh, your num indices would become number so in this case your uh, number would be 2 right so it would be 2 of your i value is index which is 0 so this is how your uh, indices would update so this is like update statement of this dictionary of number of indices where the key is that number itself and the kind of value is nothing but your index so this is the output of first iteration now let's look at the second iteration of this for loop so in the second iteration your i will take the value of 1 and number will take the value of 7 the second index and the corresponding value so now uh, you already have this num indices to be 2 comma 0 and your i value will be 1 and your number value would be 7 right because that's the second element now the difference in this case so let me maybe name this as first iteration so that it's clear and uh, let's name this second iteration okay so this is our second iteration and the difference in this case the target is 9 so your difference would be 9 minus 7 which is equal to 2 right so let's come back to the code and see like what would happen once we find this difference we see if this difference is present in this number of indices again it won't check in the value but the key of that particular dictionary when you do this if a particular value in a particular dictionary so in this case it checks if 2 is present in this number of in number indices and obviously it's present right so what would happen in this case is this if condition will uh, kind of run where we are returning the number of indices of difference comma i so when you say number indices of difference it's nothing but in this case the difference is 2 so it's like num indices of 2 which is nothing but the value 0 right so this uh, value will correspond to 0 and i in this case is nothing but 1 so the final output you would get is return so we are going to return 0 comma 1 so this is how this would work again this would also work if let's say 7 is present as the third element or fourth element itself so it would kind of uh, work in all those cases so this is how we are kind of formulating the solution where first we are finding this difference or you can also call this complement finding the difference between that particular number we are taking in a list and the target number itself and then checking if that difference is present in this key value pair of number and index if that's present we are kind of saying that this these would be the output so i hope that you are clear with the approach now let's come back to this lead code part and write the same so here i'm going to say number indices is equal to which is our dictionary basically the same code and i can say for i comma num in enumerate nums so nums is my list that i'm going to pass to this particular function and say difference or you can also call this as complement so difference is equal to target minus this number that we are taking and check if this difference 
is present in number indices which is our dictionary if it's present then we found our two indices so return number indices of num which is uh, the value of value of a particular key in this case num and we would get a index and finally like the other index the other index is like the i that we are taking so if kind of this if condition is not satisfied we would update this num indices dictionary so that in the next run it could pick that up so num indices of num is equal to i and also i probably assume that you know that once this return has happened from this function right the next line of code won't run so once we find this output as the index of 0 and 1 so this index won't be this dictionary won't be updated so this is the code where we pass a list that has a few numbers and if you add two particular numbers you would reach this particular target and we are returning this by constantly checking the dictionary that we are updating using a particular key value pair of that number and the index itself so this is our code now let's test this out uh, so in order to test this you can just click this run so once you click this run right what would happen is you will see this test result so your code will be kind of evaluated based on the test cases and if all the cases have passed you can submit your answer so i'll run this hmm, so here we caught a error saying model return indices return number of indices comma i okay line 7 Uh, sorry so this should be number of indices of difference because we are checking if that difference is present in that particular dictionary so if you check this particular code right so we have this num indices of difference so that's why we got this error so i'll run this again and see if this works again it's not like we only have this one approach to solve this there can be multiple approaches as well and you can also try to work on finding like even better optimized solution as well so here we could see that these test cases has been like approved and you you can see the test result uh, here as well so the screen kind of mark says that it's kind of approved and you get the uh, output and the expected so this is our output and this is like the expected output and this is case 2 where we would add 2 and 4 and we are getting the output as 1 and 2 and finally we have this case 3 where it's 3 comma 3 so we have this 0 comma 1 so you can't give 0 comma 0 because you can't add this same element the same element of the same index so we say it's like 0 comma 0 so output should be 0 comma 1 and we give the same output so i hope everyone is clear so the basic thing that we are doing is first finding the difference between the target and the particular number and storing the key value pair the key would be that number itself and the value would be the index that we are taking and in the second iteration and the other subsequent iteration we find the difference again and seeing if that difference is present in the dictionary that we have created if it's present then we are returning the index using this i and number of indices of this difference so this is how you can solve this once you are done with this you can click this submit so your answer will be submitted after going through even more test cases to make sure that your uh, solution is actually right and here you can see the runtime that it has taken and the memory so here it says that it beats 58.19 percentage of user and 41 point in, in case of memory right so what i'm trying to say is like even you can kind of improve this code and see how you can kind of reduce the runtime and reduce the memory it takes but again uh, the purpose of this particular series is to kind of help you help you with all these solution so if you want to kind of go even further and, and and optimize this code you can definitely do that so that's it from my side for this video and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching